what's going on guys today we'll be learning Cohen Sutherland line flipping algorithm so first we'll find out a little bit about what is Cohen Sutherland line flipping algorithm first point this is one of the most oldest and most popular line clipping procedures so generally the how is this most popular algorithm what it does is generally the method speeds up the processing of line segments by performing initial tests that reduce the number of intersections that must be calculated now every line endpoint in a picture is assigned a four digit binary code called a region code that identifies the location of the point relative to the boundaries of the clipping rectangle so basically what it does is suppose there is a line we assign a four digit binary code okay called region code to each endpoint of that line and it identifies the look uh, that region code is identified by the region where the point lies so now how to assign the code so we have to remember this format top bottom right left so in this format we are going to assign the code if the line endpoint is in the top left position from the clipping window suppose this is the clipping window and the line endpoint one of the line endpoints lies in the top left corner of the window or top left of that window so what we do is we assign the code 1001 so basically we assign one for top we assign one for left so that's why it is in the top left corner so we assign one zero zero one and we assign zero for bottom and right because it's not there so similarly we assign the codes to all other positions for example the top middle one so it's in the top position yes one it's not in the bottom yes so zero it's not in the right so zero it's not in the left so zero similarly for window it's neither on top nor below nor in the left nor in the right so it will be everything will be zero 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 so this is how we assign all the nine area codes to this chart based on the window now once we determine the region codes for each endpoint of a line we can find out First thing that whether the line completely lies outside the clipping window or the line completely lies inside the clipping window or the line partially lies inside the clipping window. So now to find the above information, what we do is we perform logical AND operation on the area codes of the two endpoints of the line. If both the endpoints lie outside the clipping window, suppose both the endpoints lie outside the clipping window and the logical AND of those endpoints is not 0, 0, 0, 0. We have to find out whether it is 0, 0, 0, 0. Then the line completely lies outside the clipping window. So we don't have to worry about it. What we have to do is we just have to perform logical end operation. If both the endpoints lie outside the clipping window and the logical end operation does not give us 0, 0, 0, 0, then we don't have to worry about it because the line completely lies outside the window. If both the endpoints lie inside the clipping window then also we don't have to worry about it because both lie uh, both endpoints lie inside the clipping window so there is no question of clipping that line because it is completely inside so the whole line will be included you don't have to perform any operation and the third condition you have to check is if both endpoints lie outside the clipping window and logical end operation results 0 0 0 0 this one is the one guys that we have to check then the line lies partially inside remember it lies partially inside the clipping window so what we have to do is we have to perform the operations to find out how much line lies inside the window after clipping the line now to understand better let's solve an example and we'll understand the procedure so this is the example let a b c d be a rectangular window so this is our a b c d rectangular window which is a clipping window okay so the coordinates given for a are 20 20 okay 20 comma 20 b is 90 comma 20 c is 90 comma 70 and d is 20 comma 70 so we have assigned it accordingly over here now what we have to do is we have to find the region codes for the endpoints and use cohen sutherland line clipping algorithm 
to clip the following lines p1 p2 with p1 as 10 comma 30 so we have assigned p1 over here 10 comma 30 just draw a graph randomly to get an approximate idea where the point lies so 10 comma 30 over here and p2 is 80 comma 90 so it will be over here now draw a line between p1 and p2 as we can randomly guess or approximately guess that p1 p2 partially goes through the clipping window but to confirm it what we have to do is we have to take a uh, we have to perform logical and operation on this both the area codes of this both the endpoints and we can get the confirmed answer there. and the second line is q1 q2 where q1 is 10 comma 10 over here and q2 is 70 comma 60 so which is over here which lies inside the clipping window as you can see because the clipping window is extended till 90 comma 70 so fine let's get to the solution now first draw a diagram like this this is a simple graph diagram that we have drawn now let's check the line p1 comma p2 now p1 is 10 comma 30 p2 is 80 comma 90 now clipping window is 0 0 0 0 yeah and p1 lies at the left of the window okay so area code of p1 is 0 0 0 1 we can see p1 lies at the left of the window so it's in the middle so it is neither on top nor in the bottom nor on the right side it's just in the left of the window so it will be 0 0 0 1 top bottom right left okay and p2 lies at the top of the clipping window so its area code is 1000 over here you can see p2 it lies on top of the clipping window it's neither on the right nor on the left so its area code will be 1000 <coughs> okay now let's perform the logical end operation on p1 and p2 so 0001 and operation 1000 0, 0, that is going to give us 0000 0, 0, 0. yes it is confirmed that line p1 and p2 lies partially inside the clipping window now since it lies partially inside the clipping window what we have to do is we have to use the formula of slope to find out the position of p1 and p2 dash that is p1 dash and p2 dash because after clipping what will exist in the window will be p1 dash p2 dash that is a new line which is part of the line p1 p2 so that will happen after cl uh, cl uh, clipping the line so what we have to do is we have to find the locations or coordinate positions of p1 dash and p2 dash how we are going to do that first we'll find out the slope now what is slope slope is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 where y2 minus y2 and x2 are coordinate positions of p2 and uh, x1 and y1 are coordinate positions of p1 so we perform that operation that is 70 minus 30 that is y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 that is 90 minus 10 what we get is slope as 0 0.5 now we know the slope of line p1 p2 that is 0 0.5 since p1 p2 dash okay is a part of the line p1 p2 so the slope of that line will obviously be the same so now we'll have to find out the coordinate positions of first point that is p1 dash since p1 dash is a point on p1 p2 slope will be same yes as mentioned and the x coordinate of p1 dash will be 20 since it is on the line ad as we can see in the diagram over here this is our p1 dash it lies on the line ad and the x position is already known that is 20 so we know the x coordinate of p1 dash all we have to find out is y coordinate of p1 dash how we are going to do is let's see now so we have to find out the y coordinate of p1 dash let's again use the formula of slope we know the slope already that is m1 so again we do y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 but now y2 and x2 will be the coordinate positions of p2 and x1 and y1 will be the coordinate positions of p1 dash remember it's p1 dash this time and m1 is already known so 0 0.5 is the slope that is known 90 is y2 
minus y1 we have to find out that is the y coordinate of p1 dash at minus 20 that is x2 minus x1 now when we calculate we get 90 minus y1 upon 60 is equal to 0.5 y1 we get as 60 therefore the coordinates of p1 dash are 20 comma 60 this is how we find out the coordinates of p1 dash now similarly we will find out the coordinates of p2 dash since p2 dash is on line dc its y coordinate will be known so y coordinate will be what 70 how just go on top and check the diagram over here it's over here now dc on this line we know the y coordinate it is 70 so p2 dash y coordinate we know it's 70 all we have to find out is the x coordinate of p2 dash so let's go over there now let's use the slope formula again okay uh, m1 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 this time y2 and x2 are the coordinates of p2 and x1 and y1 are coordinates of p2 dash okay so 0 0.5 is the slope again known 90 minus 70 this time we know the y1 because it is on the line 80 so it will be 70 we don't know the x1 so 80 minus x1 we find out the value x1 is equal to 40 so now we know the coordinates of p2 dash that is 40 comma 70 okay now we have to consider the line q1 q2 now q1 lies outside the clipping window and its code will be 0101 as it's in the bottom left of the corner let's take a look now this is q1 as we can see it's below the window and it's on the left side of the window so obviously the code will be 0 1 0 1 top bottom right left remember the formula how to remember the coordinates it's 0 1 0 1 0 1 so that is for q1 now q2 lies inside the clipping window so the coordinate positions of q2 will be 0 0 0 0 sorry the area code will be 0 0 0 0 so the line partially lies inside the clipping window as we can perform the end operations over here below over here we have performed the end operations we get 0 0 0 0 so the line q1 q2 lies partially inside the window now after clipping we'll have line q1 dash and q2 let's look at it now after clipping what is going to be left is q1 dash and q2 okay so now we'll have to find the coordinate position of q1 dash now to find coordinate position of q1 dash we first find the slope m2 is equal to y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 where x1 and y1 are q1 coordinates and x2 and y2 are q2 coordinates so slope is 60 minus 10 upon 70 minus 10 that will be 50 upon 60 or 0 0.83 now as q1 dash lies on line ad its x coordinate is 20 as we had seen in previous uh, line also it lies on ad so we know the x coordinate that is 20 now only thing that we have to find out of q1 dash is its y coordinate so let's see 0. Point. now what we do is we again use the slope formula over here now we know the slope of the line so it is 0. 0.83 and we know the x coordinate but we don't know the y coordinate so what we do is 60 minus y1 upon 70 minus 20 that is the x coordinate of q1 dash okay then we perform the same operation 0. 0.83 we multiply with the answer of this that is 70 minus 20 is 50 that is equal to 60 minus y1 and we get y1 is equal to 18.43 this is how we find out the coordinate of q1 dash is 20 20 comma 18.34 so this is how we perform Cohen Sutherland operation line clipping operation if you have any doubts or any problems please watch the video again 
if you have any queries do put it in the comment sections below thank you guys for watching please do like subscribe and share the video thank you